welcome to my um, review and demo of the sparkly pumpkin shower slime and I took the gamble and I got a big pot of this because I just knew that I'd really like the scent any of those that like the Easter Bunny bubble bar um, from Easter just gone this is the same scent so um, as soon as I saw that I thought yeah I'm definitely gonna get a big pot so this pot is 240 grams and it costs 12 pounds but you can buy a smaller pot for 100 grams which is six pounds and on the front of the pot it says come back to life with this sparkling citrus and spicy juniper berry cleanse and then on the top it says squeezable squidgeable shower squash and then the ingredients on this, I'm just going to read out the scent notes, um, but you've got perfume, juniper berry oil, grapefruit oil, lime oil, fresh grapefruit juice, fresh orange juice, and those are the main scent notes. So to me it smells like a really warming, citrusy, very gently spicy scent. And it gives me sort of Christmas autumn vibes, so I think it's perfect for this time of year. Um, it's also named after the sparkly pumpkin bubble bar, which I've never tried and I'm really hoping it's going to come in this month's subscription box because I did vote for it. And on the back of each product you will get a sticker. It will tell you who's made the product and the date it was made and the expiry date. And then if you peel back the sticker, it will have a little saying on the back. And then on this one, it says, and I'm feeling good. So I did have to Google this word because I'd never heard of it before, good. And apparently it's a fleshy, hard skinned like fruit or vegetable. So something like pumpkin or squash. So now it makes more sense to me. And the other thing I wanted to do, so I wanted to show you the texture and the, um, the colour of it as well. Um, you can see from this pot, it has gone down a bit. I have used it in the shower. My boyfriend's also used it in the shower. And I'm about to have a bath with it as well. So I thought I would feed back on after my bath. And then I'll also do a demo on my arms and with my bath lily just to show you how it lathers up. But this is the texture of it. So it's really gloopy and just like slime and I just think it's perfect if you've got children that don't want to have a bath this would probably get them in the bath because it's something fun that they could play and then clean with but yeah I, I actually quite like the texture of it I know it might put some people off but I actually like it um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a dollop of it and put it in the bath and then see how many bubbles I get and then what I'll do afterwards is I'll show you how much it took how many dollops it took to get a really nice bath and I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's picking up on camera how um, glittery it is as well, there's lots of shimmer in there so it's just such a lovely sparkly literally um, product and it just smells lovely to me so this is, this is one of the things that I knew that I was definitely going to like Hello, so I've just run the bath and I've put a dollop of the sparkly pumpkin slime into the running water and I've got lots and lots of bubbles. So let me just show you the whole bath. So there's lots of bubbles in there and the water is like a very pale yellow colour, a bit like the Easter Bunny bubble bar. It does feel moisturising as well, really, it really does. When you put your hand in the slime, you can feel all the oils immediately and it takes a while for it to wash off as well because it really does cling to your skin. So yeah, very moisturising. All right, so you can see how much is left in here now. So it's been used twice in the shower and once in the bath and there's still lots left. So this is quite a cost effective product to get from the Halloween range, I reckon. And this is how much I, I took out of the pot to put in the bath. So I literally got a dollop like this um, on my hand and then I ran it under the taps and as you can see it really does stick to you yeah it literally is like slime so it's a real fun product to like fiddle around with and it does feel really 
moisturising, full of oils as well. So I just want to do a quick demo on my arm, so I'm just going to use a little bit. So my arm is damp and you can see how quickly it all lathers up and literally you can spread it around. It lathers up even more, so look you can see how quickly it lathers up. And that's what I found is I just put a bit on my arm in the shower and then that was enough for my whole body. So yeah, I was just really impressed. And my boyfriend said the same thing as well. So he, he had a shower and he was very impressed with how quickly it lathered up and a little went a long way. But he, he loved the scent, but he still prefers the shower gel format um, instead. But yeah, I love this. Um, I love the feeling of it. I love the scent. So I'm definitely going to be buying another pot before it sells out. So I've just added a bit more water to the bath lily and just look, look at the amount you get. And that's from such a tiny little blob. There's another little bit there. But yeah, look at all that you get. So yeah, that's plenty to do your, your whole body in the shower. And then if you were to ask me if I prefer this or the shower gel, the blood orange shower gel, it would be really difficult because I do love the blood orange shower gel. But if I could only have one product, then it would definitely be this. Um, just because I love the scent and it gives me more autumn vibes, warming vibes. Um, I like the shimmer as well and it just makes a lovely bubble bath as you can see. But yeah, look at all this. And it is tinged orange as well. And it just feels lovely. It feels lovely and smooth. So I'm really glad I got the big tub because yeah, I absolutely love it. And I love the, the fact that you can use just a small dollop in the bath as well for a bubble bath. So yeah, so this is my review on the Sparkly Pumpkin Shower Slime. I absolutely love it. I'd highly recommend it. Um, even if you can't afford a little, um, a big pot, get a little pot um, because that will last you a while. And these products are obviously more cost effective because you get multiple uses out of them. So if you can't afford the bath bombs, then think about getting products like this or the shower gel or the toil and trouble scrub. That is lovely as well. Um, I've done reviews on the other two items, so feel free to have a look. Um, I have now noticed as well that I've reached my 250 subscribers, so thank you so much for subscribing. So one of my next videos is going to be the giveaway, so keep watching. And I will be reviewing other Halloween products and I've got the Christmas range coming up as well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about this product though if you've tried it. Um, I love it, I'd like to know what you think of it as well. So thank you very much for watching and I will catch you on the next video.